Hello, and welcome to a special report from the Cosmic Companion for August 26, 2020. Panspermia, the idea that life on Earth was seeded long ago by organisms from outer space, looks more likely as bacteria survive three years in space by bundling together for protection. Panspermia means seeds everywhere, and the concept represents the idea that life on Earth may have been seeded by biological life forms from outer space. This long controversial idea recently received some experimental support from a new study out of Japan. The extremes of life were tested utilizing the International Space Station to examine how microbes might live in the harsh conditions of space. In 2018, Dr. Yamagishi and his team collected Dianococcal bacteria floating 12 kilometers or about 7.5 miles above the Earth. These microorganisms are known to come together in balls as large as 1 millimeter or about a 25th of an inch across, protecting them from ultraviolet radiation. This hardiness suggested to back to researchers that these tough bacteria might be able to sustain the rigors of space. In 2015, NASA astronaut Scott Kelly affixed pellets of, De of Deanococcus stored as various shaped pellets inside wells in an aluminum plate on exposure panels outside the International Space Station. These microbes were exposed to the harsh environment of space for periods of one, two, and three years before samples were returned to Earth. Back home, researchers rehydrated the bacteria and tested the samples. The thinnest layers of bacteria had been utterly destroyed by their experience having their genetic material completely fried by, by ultraviolet radiation. Samples of half a millimeter to a millimeter in thickness showed significant damage from exposure to space. Most of the samples were killed from loss of water and UV radiation. All samples thicker than half a millimeter or about a 50th of an inch thick, however, show about 4% of the microbes surviving their ordeal, as microbes on the outer layers of the samples perished, they created a barrier protecting the rest of the colony. Researchers calculated that any pellet with a diameter greater than half a millimeter would survive for between 15 and 45 years years on the outer skin of the orbiting space station. Calculations show a colony twice that thick, roughly the width of a dun, would protect microbes for up to eight years of traveling in space, which would give it more than enough time to travel from Mars to Earth, or vice versa. One variation of the panspermia idea, lithopanspermia theory, suggests microbes may hide within the rocky confines of asteroids, protected from the often damaging effects of radiation. One of the great questions of panspermia is this. Once life develops on one planet, how does it travel to another world? Meteorite impacts could occasionally lift life-laden rocks into space. Some material from other worlds, including Mars, has been known to land on our own planet. In 1996, news agencies around the world ran with the story of the announcement of a possible sign of ancient Martian life in the asteroid Allen Hills 84001, a piece of Mars which crashed into Earth 
13,000 years ago following a 17 million year long journey. This evidence for alien life was later found to be inconclusive. This new study shows that even without shielding from rocks, microorganisms may be protected from radiation and wild swings in temperature by huddling into balls. This idea, NASA panspermia, could explain how the microorganisms could survive in space without needing to be shielded by layers of rock. Life is resilient and is found in even the most extreme conditions found on Earth. Recent studies suggest that radiation may play a part in life processes, perhaps even making life more likely in the subsurface of Mars and other worlds. This study might also provide a new look at our own world, showing how life may have developed right here on Earth. Make sure to tune in to Astronomy News, the Cosmic Companion, on September 8th, when we'll interview Dimitra Atri of New York University Abu Dhabi talking about his recent study showing microbes may live beneath the surface of Mars, aided by galactic cosmic rays. Subscribe to this channel and never miss an episode. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and keep your wonder alive. If you enjoyed this episode of The Cosmic Companion, please download and share the episode on YouTube, Facebook video, or on any major podcast provider. For more details on space and astronomy news, please visit thecosmiccompanion.com or thecosmiccompanion.net. Mm -hmm.